I am Zef from Z21 and welcome to Adventure Ride Chat. The place where all bikes are adventure and where the chat starts here with me and continues with all of us down in that comment area. And if you are new to this section of T21, please do consider subscribing. Also, feel free and invited to go and check out our Patreon page. I do post slightly different content there, but our content is free for everyone, including our patrons. So going there is just really helping. You're not gonna get very, very different content from everywhere that I post. And talking about everywhere that I post, if you pay attention to our Facebook last week, you may have seen some pictures of something that is very, very special to me, which is our brand new Nex helmet. And my friends, that's exactly what I have here today, our brand new Nex helmets. If you don't know about Nex, let me just introduce that a little bit. Nex is a Portuguese company, they produce helmets. The last adventure helmet they produced was the X1D. And if that still tells you nothing, you may have seen the Touratec Aventuro helmet. It's exactly the same helmet, but for Touratech they produce a carbon fiber one. But all of Nex helmets are fiber, so getting one or the other is pretty much the same thing, because they are indeed the same helmet. This one, this one my friends, this one is the XWED2, so the next iteration of that helmet. And I'm very excited for two reasons. One is because, well, we are very, very close to departing on our trip and ooh, this is gonna be the helmet that I'm gonna wear. Charlotte's helmet is there, but she's gonna be the one opening her helmet. I'm not gonna take that away from her, but that, very, very exciting. And the second thing is, I have to say thank you. I have to say a huge, huge thank you to Nex, because about a month ago, their factory, part of their factory burned to the ground and still, regardless of how small I am, they delivered. The helmets are here, they're personalized for us, they were with a design that we agreed upon. Regardless of our size, that company next, they did not fail us. And that tells a lot about everyone that works there and about their commitment towards not only clients, but towards their commitments. And if they do this with someone small like me, I can only imagine the length they go to keep up with everyone that they work on a very regular basis and that produces very high volumes for them. So thanks a lot, next, I'm forever in your debt. But ooh, this is exciting. And I'm, I'm not very big in unboxings. It's always been that kind of thing that I've never been very passionate or excited about. But still, I want to share this with you because I'm so excited about this one. The box is a black box and as all Nex helmets, there is an extra little peak here, some extra parts, some extra cushionings because all their helmets always come with spare parts, which is always a magnificent touch. There is also that I can see already a pin lock. I'm not a big fan of pin locks. I prefer to use my goggles and to rely less on the visor, but this helmet will allow me to use both the goggles and the visor at the same time. So I might actually install this one for those very cold days that you do want to close the visor and have that extra protection. So great great little addition that a lot of brands don't do. And as for the helmet, let me close this so I can actually put the helmet on top. Give me just a second. I really am not good with boxes. Love them, but not good with them. As for the helmet, oh, here it is. So excited. Light, lightweight, doesn't seem bulky without even taking it out. I was a big fan of the previous model and I'm sure I'm gonna be an even bigger fan of this one. Just before opening, I can see the material, letters, there's a little chin vent right here, which is great. It's, I'm pretty sure it's detachable, it was in the last one. So I'm pretty sure that exactly if I take it out, it's great. I love it like this. You have emergency straps here. This thing, if you've never used it or if you've never had a helmet with one, you can attach it back. I, it will take me a little bit to find out how you can put it on again, but for those really, really cold days or for those really rainy, windy days, this is gonna help you a lot. Obviously the double, double D ring, 
because in terms of safety it's great with a little attachment so you can grab it on with your glove and put it on and off but very very nice little touch but now ooh, I can already see my name written on the helmet which is great there you go there you go on the side the beak looks great the helmet looks great in the back you can see our trip our logo next in the bottom this is the world map exactly what we're gonna do which is absolutely great I love how it looks 1500 grams so very very nice this one has one of the differences it has from the previous one is that with this little thing you can adjust the beak which was also completely redesigned and the last one the beak, the beak was slightly different and you wouldn't be able to move it back and forth and adjust it to your liking the vents smooth and they have that little click going to them which is great it usually tells you that the vents will be secured to take the peak on and off is just locking and unlocking these little things it's just clock clock and the beak is out if you remove this screw of course a big visor big port that will pop there you go see like tight that's good because it means that it's gonna do the locking oh there you go some glasses some little sun shades inside which are always always great to have and I've already noticed that you go once and oh I did it too strongly go once and you go twice right in the middle so you can just slide it in for that little sitting that first sitting and then you just lock it in place I've only seen this in very very high quality brands and this is obviously high quality big vent big port right here in the mouth very very big port and that's great and if you want to use like I will use this helmet with goggles you can just remove this side panels and you can put some quick straps and you can either run the goggles towards the front going underneath the beak because you cannot see it right now but underneath there's enough space and there is some little indentations here that will allow it to be locked with the straps and if you don't want just do what I did with the last one which is you turn the goggles backwards you close the visor and you're good to go super excited super excited with this the helmet looks absolutely fabulous and ooh, very 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 excited so in the next couple of weeks I'm gonna be taking it out I'm gonna be riding with it it's raining which is great because it will allow me to see how it holds with the fog and cold days and I'm pretty sure the weather is gonna change quite rapidly so I'll also see how it holds in warmer weathers and obviously after that I'll come back to you with a deeper review but this is the first impressions I get of the helmet this is the first time I'm touching it because last time in the factory I played only with a prototype I had not had the chance to see how this would hold and I'm excited so please comments down below questions down below this is the time to make them because this is the time where I'm gonna take the helmet out and as far as we're concerned I'll obviously see you guys next Saturday but before you go don't forget hit that big like button hit that subscribe and that subscription bell so you can get all the notifications as soon as a new video is out as for me see you guys next Wednesday